Hi y'all, this is Larry at Deep South Texas. It's the end of May and it's time to take another look at the garden. See what's surviving the heat. And the star of the garden this week are the birdhouse gourds. They are looking great. There are about a dozen gourds growing on this plant and they're hiding here and there. But uh, hopefully they'll be done growing and dried out and maybe we'll be able to make some uh, Christmas presents with them this year. And the Three Sisters Garden is doing great as well. We have some uh, corn that's over 12 feet tall. This is uh, Danny corn. Just about every stock has an ear on it. Only, only one ear per stock. My guess is that's probably normal. Looking great. The rattlesnake beans uh, are growing as well. Hopefully they're holding the corn stalks up if we get some wind, which I certainly expect that we will get some wind shortly. We're uh, going to enter hurricane season down here at Deep South Texas. Hopefully we won't get any hurricanes, but uh, there's always trop tropical storms. The tomatoes are just finishing up. Have some nice ones uh, still on the plant. These are tomatoes we planted in February. The tomatoes that I started from seed and planted uh, in March we picked a few tomatoes off of them but not very many. It just, uh, it just got too hot for them. And it has been hot. Now, I really don't think it's been any hotter than normal. When I look back over my garden videos for the last few years and uh, check, the end of May, that's basically when my, my tomatoes are done. They haven't been uh, setting on fruit for a month because of the heat and basically the tomatoes are are starting to die back so even though it to me it feels like abnormally hot weather i really don't think it is i think this is just our normal hot weather so please remind me next year i have to have my tomatoes in the first week in february <laughs> if i do i'll have a much better harvest my second raised bed of onions are ready to harvest, at least the uh, 1015s are ready. They've all sort of died back. There are a couple other varieties in this bed that uh, look to be still be growing, so we'll leave those in a little bit longer, but the 1015s will be coming out. So onions have done exceptionally well this year for me. The ginger is looking good as well. It's growing fine. And the turmeric that took forever to come up this year is looking pretty healthy right now. Happy with that. And then one of the turmeric barrels has dill growing in it. <laughs> we've been we've been harvesting the dill. We've made uh, about four quarts of um, hamburger dill pickles, sliced pickles uh, this year. And maybe we'll get another quart or two of, uh, of pickles. Let's take a look at the cucumbers. So the early growth on the uh, cucumbers is starting to look a little bit yellow. But some of the later growth is looking still looking pretty healthy. There are still lots and lots of flowers. So I'm not seeing any cucumbers uh, 
ready to pick on the vine right now, but hopefully we'll get we'll get a few more to put up yet this year. The pole beans uh, are still alive and growing. They're still flowering, but uh, they're not really putting on uh, much in the way of beans. There are a number of beans on the on the vine right now. I'm just going to uh, let them dry out and uh, we'll collect seed for next year. The leeks are still growing well. I think I'll be harvesting them within about 30 days. They are uh, not quite as large as I've gotten in past years. I sort of think maybe I have them planted too close together. So another reminder, give the leeks a little bit more room. This, this leek uh, that got planted kind of by itself in a spot that the uh, garlic didn't take off in, it's looking real nice. Garden, it's taking over the walkways, so it's hard to even get around in here. I can see, oh, I don't know, there's about eight pumpkins on here. Let's see if we can find one. There's uh, two of them right there. And another one over there. And there may be some in the middle that I can't quite see. But uh, in the next 30 days, they should be starting to turn color, changing from green to yellow. and then they'll be a little bit easier to see and be ready to pick. There are still a bunch of uh, Roma tomatoes coming on. They're, uh, they're not real large, but there is uh, quite a few of them over here. So we'll probably get at least one canner load of uh, tomatoes this year. That'll be nice. And we've been picking zucchini right along from the zucchini plants on this end of the garden. Not, not a real abundant harvest, but uh, more zucchini than I care to eat. So <laughs> that's worked out well. I'm seeing very little fruit on my citrus tree. Actually, all of my citrus trees this year. I'm not quite sure why. I think maybe it was just, uh, it's just been too dry for them. I haven't uh, harvested my moringa leaves yet. But last week I came out and uh, pulled off all the pods I could find to try to encourage more leaf growth. But I can see that I've got uh, pods coming back again. So need to get these, uh, these leaves harvested. So here is my mother hen and her baby chicks. There's five of them. I don't think I can get them all in. They're growing pretty fast. So there's still quite a bit going on in the garden. Um, we have onions to harvest. We have moringa leaves to harvest. And probably in about 30 days, we'll have Cherokee tan pumpkins to harvest. The Three Sisters Garden is looking good. I'm not sure uh, when the corn will be ready, probably a couple more months before it gets done and the ears dry out. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.